All right, this video is going to be a, a little intro to dehydration synthesis reactions and hydrolysis reactions. In dehydration synthesis, first of all, let's think about what that um, what we're hearing in these words. Um, dehydration um, is going to mean that we're going to lose water. And synthesis means we're going to be combining or building uh, in our reaction, okay? And so here we have a polymer, but it's sort of a short polymer, and a monomer of some macromolecule. And on one end we have an OH, and on the other end of this monomer we have an H. And notice um, that both, both uh, molecules have an H on one end and an OH on the other. Okay, so most of the molecules we talk about will be like this. And so what happens ultimately is that, that H and OH come together and form water, H2O, and that now leaves this opened bond space on both of our molecules and they bond together to make a longer polymer than it was before. And do notice that now, just like our original molecules, we still have one H and one OH on the end as well. So that's dehydration synthesis. We lost water and we brought two molecules together. The opposite of that is going to be hydrolysis, which we should hear in this word, Hydro, which, which means water, and lysis, which reminds us of the term lice, which will mean to break. So here, instead of bringing two things together by losing water, we are going to use water to actually break a molecule into smaller items. So here we're going from a polymer to subunits. So here we have our polymer, and herein comes a, a water molecule. And that water molecule will ultimately split the two um, atoms into its two uh, subunits of some sort. And notice that the H2O becomes the OH on one molecule and the H on the other molecule. So we broke using water.